Hey, what's up? Steve Lucent here, and today I'd like to show you a couple different applications that you can use to record your screen. Now, you would want to record your screen in order to document a process. Um, I like to use it to uh, record whenever I'm designing a logo, doing something in Photoshop, Illustrator, and what's great about it is that at the end, you can bring that those videos into a piece of software like Adobe Premiere and edit them together. You could add some music, you can even do a time lapse which is showing the whole process that took many hours and maybe just showing it in 30 seconds or a minute or something like that and that's always very fun to watch and also to create so we're just gonna show you how to record your screen in the first place so that you can have some sort of documentation of your process so what I'm going to do is just show you uh, the first piece of software, I'm on a Mac um, and Macs always come with QuickTime Player. So QuickTime Player is a way to play videos, right? And when you open up QuickTime Player, a little window pops up. You can hit cancel on that window because it's just asking you to open up a video. But if you go to file, there's new movie recording, new audio recording and new screen recording. So we're gonna do new screen recording and you see that this, with the latest version of QuickTime Player, you're able to select a, a portion of the screen that you want to record. But I always prefer to record entire screen um, because if you do a, a selection, I mean, you just have to make sure that you're within that window. Sometimes you would forget. So I think recording the whole screen is just uh, easier. Um, in the options, there's ways that you can save uh, the file after it's done recording. I prefer saving to the desktop so I could just see it pretty much immediately. I have the timer set to none. The microphone, um, right now I have a Logitech Brio webcam and that's the mic that I will be using. And um, the options uh, right here show floating thumbnail. Remember last selection show, show mouse clicks. Um, these are just like regular options. I just kind of leave it at default. Um, going back to the microphone though, if you're not going to be speaking, uh, it might be a good idea to just hit it, keep it at none. Now, if you're just recording the video, then that means the video is just gonna have no sound at all and it's just going to be recording the video of the screen. So that's something to just keep in mind. Um, but once that's all set and you're ready to record, you could just hit record and immediately this little button, this little uh, icon shows up at the top and that means that you're recording. So I can, you know, open up a window, move it around, uh, hit the X button and let's say I'm done recording. I can hit this little button and immediately on the desktop, I have a screen recording. And if I hit spacebar to preview it, and that's the recording right there. So that's super easy, quick and dirty. Um, it works and um, it's a very, very fast, free way to, to, to record your screen. Now, if you don't have a uh, uh, Windows, I mean, I think there is a Windows QuickTime Player version, but another very, very cool app that I like to use is called uh, Loom. So if you go to, if you go open up a web browser and I'm gonna go to loom.com, L-O-O-M.com. Um, this is an excellent application that I use to record my screen. But what's really cool about this is that it also lets you have a little video bubble on the bottom corner. And this is cool because then the, the, the person viewing your video is able to see your face. And that's always good in terms of communication. So I always prefer doing that. Um, it's and, and what's also great about Loom is that it gives you a link for that video for you to share right away. So for example, once you you know get, get Loom for free, you sign up, follow the instructions, um, and then you will get a dashboard um, and this dashboard is where all of your uh, Loom videos live. So these are all different recordings that I've done in the past. So what's cool about Loom is that when you launch the application, L-O-O-M app, you get a little uh, menu bar up here that you can control what it is that you're trying to record. So you can do screen and camera. So that would record the whole screen with the little camera bubble that you can move around over here. You can choose to record the screen only or the camera only. 
And again, like with, with screen and cam, you're able to just move things around. You could change the size of this bubble, make it smaller, um, change the camera that you have connected, um, even change the mic that you have connected. Maybe it's your headphones or just your webcam mic. Um, and then it's just as easy as hitting start recording. I'm just go ahead and do it. Just start recording. It's gonna record, it's gonna do a little countdown timer. You know, I'm gonna have a little recording session just show you this little website here or my photoshop illustrator whatever it is that i'm doing on the computer and then when i'm done you just hit the little uh stop button here and look how fast it creates a web page with the recording right it'll start to load um but then you just hit copy link and then you could share it with somebody right you can press play here um take a look at it you can rename this this to whatever all right and like I said copy the link and then share it with somebody and then that's how you're able to just get a message out fast you can even download this uh, uh, this little piece of uh, footage so that you can do the editing for it a little bit later so I think it's a it's a really really cool application it works for Mac Windows and your your phone as well now the phone one is, is, is a new thing and you're able to trim the the, the video clips here um, it's also free for students and that's what I really really like so for, for students and educators so definitely um, check this one out I recommend it highly and finally the last tool that I'm going to show you uh, it's a little bit kind of sort of advanced but it's just a, it's a great application it's also free it's called obs this is actually what i'm using to record right now this little obs screen right here i have in studio mode and what this is is it lets me have different scenes so right here on the left is what i could preview right here on the right is what's actually being recorded right now you see it says stop recording over here and i have my screen share with my little video uh square on the bottom and you're able to create these different scenes so if i wanted to switch to my full screen i could hit the transition button and hey i'm full screen again if i want to show you the desktop hey here's the desktop again over here and you're able to create these different scenes with uh with this area over here as well as add different sources so you can you know add uh different audio mics different displays if you have multiple monitors you can add um videos you can add all sorts of different uh windows and applications and captures you can record uh google chrome um whatever it is that you want to record uh obs will more than likely be able to re read it if it's plugged into your computer it's, it can be one of these things and um with obs you're able to also live stream so this is how a lot of people end up uh streaming their creative process on twitch or on youtube or facebook and things like that so um this one just allows you a little bit more control um you could if you if you're more of the techie geeky type i would definitely recommend this one because you're able to do many things and like i said you're able to create these different scenes like um you know i could change where this uh mon this this webcam goes you know i could change the size of it and i could put it you know on this corner if i want and you can even create overlays which are uh, uh photoshop png files and you could design how 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 your layout looks um you know with nice little borders and whatever it's the, the the sky's the limit with this really that's pretty much it i definitely encourage you to record your process uh this is a great way to do it if you're recording something on the computer if you are doing something physical i mean that's a, that's probably something for a different uh video but that can be you know your phone your gopro um, another camera just having it set up and just recording your, your yourself um, again I want to emphasize the importance of recording and documenting your process it's always good to show your audience uh, how you get to your project um, especially nowadays with Instagram um, showing the behind the scenes so to speak is always a great idea so that's it if you have any other questions comments concerns you know where to find me let me know if any of these tools help you out um, or if you're using another tool I'd like to know until next time take care guys peace